Okay, so we're going into Spring Cave here. Right off the current river, there's this little cave, so we're just gonna go in here and explore it a little bit. It's kinda cool. Got a little narrow passage way here. We'll go see if we can get through there. Has it got a pretty strong current right there, Annette? Looks like it's got a strong current right there. Goodness. Oh gosh, it goes way back there. And then it goes on, but it's totally dark. Here, let me, I'm gonna go around here and turn around here. Pretty cool. Not a lot of room to kayak in here. Oh. All right. It does have a current because it's like just pushing me along now. Pretty cool. And then we go right back out here, go to the left and catch the current river, heading back down. Women again out wandering. Hi, we're at Polpite Campground in the Ozark Scenic River, National Scenic River area. Yeah, it's called the um, uh, Current River that we're on. And we uh, camped at this Polpite Campground and then we drove upriver to Acres and um, we used a company there called um, Acres Ferry and Canoe Rentals. And we were able to just drop our kayaks in right there and uh, pay the guy. And he took our truck down 50 miles, or 50 miles, 20 miles down river um, at Round Springs. So we are heading down. Um, the great thing is halfway down is our campsite, which is right here. So we stopped and... Uh, yeah, we stopped and made ourselves a nice lunch. Yep. Had a cup of tea cup and just hung tea. out. And um, we saw a, an, an unusual bird that we can't identify. Um, so we're going to try, yes, when we get we service, try to, to look. find it in our bird book, but we can find it. But we saw tons of great blue herons. I mean, they're flying around. Bald eagle. Kingfishers zipping across in front of you all the time. And, uh, yeah, we saw a bald eagle at the beginning. It was really cool. These uh, National Scenic Rivers have been a, a gift to us. It's not something we were really planning on doing. We're really researched. And we, we happened upon the Niobrara in Nebraska. 
And all these little towns along these rivers have a lot of shuttle services and canoe and kayak mm -hmm. rentals. And we now search out these national rivers because it's just awesome. It's, it's just a... One, one of the most amazing ways to spend a day. It's so peaceful and so beautiful. Beauty. And so calming. I mean, you're just out there like, oh my gosh, it's yeah. just amazing. It's amazing. amazing, amazing. Yep, and this one is a little bit quicker. I mean, it's moving. We've got a little bit of rapids. Of course, these we're doing is just kind of floating down. You're kind of kayaking, but it has a little bit quicker current, so it's been fun. Yeah. So anyway, stay tuned and follow us for the rest of the float down the current river. <laughs>
got hung up. Nettie got hung up. Woohoo! We're almost to the end here. If I could keep upright. <clears throat> Nettie fell in. Shoot. Hang on to it, Nettie! I'll try to grab it if you... Try to walk to the bank over here! That... the gravel! Are you okay? Man, it's hard going upstream. Ooh. I saw you. I watched you against that tree and then you bobbed up and then it turned you over. <sighs> Here, let me help you. You got it? Okay, while well, we finished our day on the river. On the current river. Super, super fun. It's awesome. What a great way to spend the day. What a great, great, great activity. And just about lost Nettie 100 yards Very. from her. We go for tw 20 miles and 100 yards before we stop and that flips down there. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was super dumb. Another super dumb thing. Uh, always fun. Oh, well. Anyway, fun. people, get outside and uh, find your wild. Until next time. <laughs>